and welcome back. The University of Pittsburgh's Medical Center has one of the leading transplant institutes in the world. It provides consultation and training for transplant surgeons around the world, but some have urged it to reconsider training surgeons from China, and that's because of claims that Chinese state-run hospitals have been killing prisoners of conscience for their organs. U.S. transplant surgeons say there needs to be more awareness about transplant abuse inside China. Medical rights group Doctors Against Forced Organ Harvesting hosted a forum on Thursday at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. They presented findings on state-sanctioned forced organ harvesting in China. Ethan Gutman, journalist and award-winning author, estimated that over 65,000 Falun Gong practitioners have been murdered for their organs by the Chinese Communist Party. Falun Gong is a Chinese spiritual practice. Since 1999, the communist regime has waged a persecution campaign against its practitioners. In 2006, uh, claims surfaced that practitioners that detained in prison and labor camps are being killed for their organs. Former Canadian lawmaker David Kilgore and Canadian lawyer David Matus were the first to carry out an in-depth investigation into the claims. They found a big discrepancy between the sudden increase in transplants in China since 1999 and the lack of official explanation for where those organs came from. They concluded that Chinese state-run hospitals were in fact using Falun Gong practitioners and other prisoners of conscience as a source for organs. Well, it's like Mr. Mattis said, this, the, um, the numbers don't add up. Um, you know, somewhere these organs are coming from and they need to be accounted for. And I think the international community needs to uh, understand where those organs are coming from. The Thomas E. Starzl Transplantation Institute at UPMC is at the forefront of the organ transplant industry. It provides training for surgeons from around the world, including China. There's got to be common knowledge that a lot of the surgeons that they are training or the, or the training that they're providing both here and in China has to be associated with this. Um, Dr. Christopher Hughes says about, the UMPC will be discussing how to, how to with deal with visiting Chinese surgeons leaders. from China. Everybody, any transplant physician, any transplant personnel is against this. I mean, you know, this should never happen. I mean, we're surprised that it's happening. There's no doubt about it. Uh, it just should never happen. And it should be stopped. The Chinese regime openly admits to using executed prisoners as a source of organs, but has denied using prisoners of conscience. The regime, however, has so far not refuted the specific evidence raised in the reports by Kilgore and Matus. NTD News, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania.